Hey everyone, it's Sam and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is just going to be a little bit different. I won't be doing any makeup. It'll just be about hair and how I curl my short hair. Um, it has grown actually quite a bit since I've cut it, but I mean it's still considered short to medium I'd say. But I'll just be kind of showing you guys how I curl my hair. I'll be sharing with you what kind of curling iron I use and all that good stuff. So yeah, if you want to see how I curl my hair, then just keep watching. Okay, so I'm just going to section my hair off, um, just like half and half. I don't really do too many sections. And half the time I don't really ever section my hair actually, but I will today. <laughs> So I have a whole bunch of different curling irons, um, it just kind of depends on what kind of curls you're going for. If you're wanting like big beachy waves, you're obviously going to want a bigger barrel, otherwise if you want really tight ringlets, you're going to want something smaller. The one that I prefer is, I think it's, I want to say one and a half inch, anyways it's the Bedhead TG wand and it's not tapered, it's just one size. Um, yeah, I got this from Ulta. I could probably link it in the description if you are wanting to know which one it, exactly it is. Um, so yeah, this is the one I go to most often. I bought this when I had long hair and it worked really great with my long hair. It is kind of harder for some of these shorter pieces kind of back here, but it still does the job. Okay, so I have already heated this up so it's ready to go. So I either do... Um, all away from my face like one direction or I um, alternate it, it kind of depends on the look that you're going for today I'm just gonna go for like a really loose beachy wave so I'm just gonna do um, ev like alternate everyone so I like to take pretty small sections actually just because I feel like my hair lasts longer when I take smaller sections I think it's just because the heat really gets every strand instead of like if you take a big section but um, so this one I'm just gonna start off by going this way and I like to keep the hair pretty flat and then obviously hold out the ends just to get that more beachy look and then kind of just let it fall I don't spray it right away I just kind of spray it like once I'm done with hairspray and honestly when I'm curling like these under pieces I don't really spend too much time on them I just kind of give them a quick little curl and call it good just because you don't really see this under stuff, so. I'm just gonna go the same direction, just cause. All right, so now I'm gonna go the opposite direction, so I'm gonna go towards my face. So I'm gonna go one more towards my face, and then this one beside my face, I'm gonna go away from my face, just because that's the kind of, that's just like what I like to do. Um, it's kind of just personal preference. Most people do like to go away from their face right at the front there but it's all up to you and then so when I get to my face I obviously go away from it but I also bring this kind of forward just to get a good front piece where it's nice and flowy and it's not too like straight if that makes sense I don't know it just kind of creates like an over direction curl so then this piece right here kind of more is more flowy. Now I'm gonna spray it with a quick working hairspray. This also you can use beforehand and it's thermal protection as well and this is the sexy hair hot sexy hair control me thermal protection working hairspray so protects up to 450 degrees which I really don't know how much this is how hot this gets but I like this stuff smells good too. Don't mind my regrowth because I really need to get my hair done. I was actually contemplating whether or not to go dark, try dark hair. Um, I put a poll on my Instagram and blonde still won, so I think I'm going to keep my blonde this summer and then maybe go dark for the fall or something. I don't know yet. A lot of people voted blonde, so I suppose I'll keep it for a little bit longer. But that means that I need to get it done, like ASAP. <laughs> Okay, so now that I'm done with the first section, I'm just going to, oops, I'm going to spray that a little bit. And then I'm going to let this down. And usually when I curl my hair, I honestly like to part it down the middle a little bit better than doing like a side part. I don't know why, I just like it. Um, I'm going to quick give this a spray for the thermal protection. And then start on this side. And again, this is when I'm really going to start paying attention to the size of the um, pieces of hair I'm grabbing. I want them to be pretty small. 
And now I'm really gonna start alternating them. I kind of didn't really care for the under layer, but now I'm really gonna start. Again, leaving out the little ends here. Does anybody watch Vampire Diaries because my boyfriend and I have started watching them and I'm totally team Damon, <laughs> he's team Stefan. So comment down below if you're team Damon or team Stefan. And if you're team Stefan, we can't be friends, sorry. <laughs> okay, so again, I'm just gonna spray this one last time. And I'm actually gonna kind of let the curls cool down before I like really finger through them just because I want them to not lose their shape right away. So I'm gonna leave those, move on to this side. All right, so the last face piece, I'm obviously going to put this in front of my face again, over direct it, leave the ends out. And So now I'm gonna go in with a stronger hold hairspray just because I am kind of done with like the, oops, with the working hold hairspray. Um, so this is the Amika Headstrong Intense Hold. Um, it smells really good. I just got this not too long ago. Really liking it so far. Oh, it was right on my arm. All right, so now that I have a stronger hold hairspray in, I'm just gonna run my fingers through it now. I'm really kind of like tugging at the curls just because I don't really like when they're too bouncy. Really pulling at the ends to make them a little bit more straight. Oh, what is going on here? I think I did too many towards my face right in a row. Oopsie. In my first day with curls, I'm, I'm okay if they're a little bit bouncier, but I want them to kind of fall out um, the next day or kind of throughout the day. Okay, so once everything's curled, I usually like to grab a comb and just go in and back comb a little bit just to get some more volume. Not a lot, even though it will fall out within like an hour. <laughs> and then I'll spray it. So yeah, this is usually how I curl my hair. Um, obviously you can switch it up and go a little bit tighter, a little bit looser, whatever your preference is. This is just kind of usually how I like to curl it. Even I'll switch it up every once in a while, but just to where to work, this is usually what I do. Otherwise, sometimes I'll kind of pin some pieces back so it's out of my face while I'm at work. But yeah, so this is it for the video. Um, if you like to give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on any more videos of me. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.